What's up guys? Today we're gonna I'm gonna show you how to overclock your CPU if, if it's a, if it's an AMD CPU you'll want to use AMD overdrive overdrive it helps you overclock your CPU so you would press download add right here alright so you've downloaded it and you're gonna boot it up for the first time it's gonna say warning operating your processor outside of AMD specifications meaning if you got your CPU at I don't know 2.5 gigahertz and you overclock it to 3.5 let's just say that and if it breaks your CPU then AMD isn't gonna send you like a little present saying we're sorry for you mess no 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 this will avoid your warranty whatever you know but the warranty won't know that you did it but still though you could get caught if they see that your entire CPU is cooked okay so whenever it's being whenever it's done loading up there's a couple things you gotta be careful with so whenever you see your CPU status as long as this stays gray as long as it stays gray that's fine you don't want it to be red because if it's red then that's horrible you're cooking your CPU it's gonna die alright so core speed I'm at 3 gigahertz or 3000 megahertz alright so that's that's the speed alright so to boost it you would slide this you see that went up to 3.3 .3 meg megahertz 30 3300 megahertz that's 3.3 gigahertz so you might want to mess with the voltage a little bit if you're gonna be going up that high I say for the AMD Phenom X4940 black edition 1.4 voltage and 3.3 gigahertz is okay so if you click apply and my computer didn't it it didn't freak out it didn't have a blue screen nothing happened meaning that's a safe overclock yes uh, the heat will go up that's what overclocking does it boosts performance but it does make your CPU hot so I suggest you get like a 12 uh, to 212 Evo from cooler master or something like that uh, I don't have one currently that's why my CPU is burning but anything above 60 Celsius I suggest no don't don't go there do not go there so after you've done that you might want to select all of them over here at the sta stabil stability test and you want to start it alright so if you see all of these are active if all of these are active and you're not your computer isn't lagging too much or like I said blue screen and then shut off then you're fine you could run the stability test for as long as you want I suggest one hour see if you're heat yeah it'll it'll get hot trust me you see so I'm gonna stop that because I know I'm gonna I'm gonna cause something bad to happen currently just you know overclock at your own risk I'm not it's not my fault if you break your CPU but just you know be careful play with it um, be careful with your voltage do not raise your voltage up too much or you could fry your entire motherboard just be careful um, that's the processor I'm using right now I suggest 3.3 gigahertz um, let me see anything else there's fan control and AMD overdrive there's you could look at your memory your amps um, your CPU status as you can see it's 3.3 gigahertz it's not red so like I said that's good um, there's an auto clock function which you could play with that but I suggest just sticking here don't boost this don't don't do this don't do this like ever to 6.2 gigahertz that'll if you, if you do that don't ever do this if, you pl if I press apply my computer will legit blow up so 
don't ever do that. Your computer will blow up too, trust me. Alright, so use AMD Overdrive. There's fan control if you got a you know, raise your RPM. You can benchmark it if you want. Here, why may as well benchmark it. Why not? Um, there's another thing y'all could use and it's called CPU CPU C, which tells you so a little bit of information about your system. Oh crap, I'm using all my oop oop. I should start I should abort that. No, stop. Alright, so if you go to CPU Z If you boot that up, um, it shows you information about your your CPU. So my CPU was at originally three gigahertz, and I boosted up to three point three. So it'll show you that you have an an official overclock if this core speed goes up. So I suggest you download CPU Z and AMD Overdrive. This just shows you a little bit of information about your processor and it'll yeah if you click on that it shows the top 15 highest frequencies people have been able to boost this thing up to 4.2 4.2 gigahertz which that is crazy wow they were using 4 gigabytes of and achieve for his 210. Wow. Boost it up to 4.2. Yo, that's crazy. And I'm over here scared doing 3.3. That, that, wow. And they're using a crappier GPU than mine. Well, guys, thank you for watching. Remember, use AMD Overdrive. Don't do anything crazy. Overclock at your own risk. And this is Big Boss, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Thank you.